six months ago, I did a collab video with Andrew Strong, and this is how it went. Bro, right. Mama didn't write no pitch. Yes. <sighs> Every motherfucker. What is up, YouTube? Chris Mutonia, and today we're gonna revisit all of the calisthenic challenges I did with Andrew Strong. Today's video, we're gonna see if I improved, did better, or if I stayed the same in all of these exercises. I know there were a few exercises where I absolutely ate shit yes. and I really couldn't do yes. because homie's got big legs, but other exercises I was really, really good at. So let's see how I fare. Since I've been in Bali, I've lost about five kilograms. Went from 97, now I'm at 92. Um, so I would assume most of these exercises would be a lot better, but hey, let's check it out. So for those of you who don't know who Andrew is, Andrew is probably one of the greatest calisthenics athletes in the entire world. He does stuff like this, and he does stuff like that, and he does stuff like this. I know, absolutely crazy. I could never do any of those things even if I tried. Jokes, I could probably, but I don't want to be small, and I enjoy training legs. Sorry, Andrew. You don't have legs, bro. I'm, that's, that's the way life is, dude. That's, I'm, okay, so I don't expect to do everything like Andrew, but I should be able to master the basics. For those of you who don't know, I initially started off with calisthenics on my initial weight loss journey or my fitness journey. For the first three months of my fitness, I did high intensity interval training hit, and I lost about 30, 25 kilograms with that. That put me in a really good position, because I was quite skinny, to do calisthenics. So then for the next year or so, I did pure calisthenics. So I am quite adept in all of these things. I can do a human flag, I can do a front lever, I can do a back lever. Funny enough, I can't do a handstand properly. Like my balance is just a little bit off. Obviously something you can improve and just something I haven't worked on. We're gonna try to finish up and complete a handstand for today. A win in my book for today's video would be to hold a handstand for five seconds and it would be to do that weird tuck planche thing that we did in last video. Because this is how it went last time. Yes, yes. <sighs> Heavy motherfucker. To be honest, that was quite embarrassing. So a win in my books would be get those two things, goody and tushy. As I do all of these little exercises, I want you to do them with me at home and at least try them because I am someone who can do gymnastics, calisthenics, bodybuilding, powerlifting, swimming, running. Not too great at running though, but I can do a lot of things. I think everyone should be able to do some sort of fitness and you should be able to do everything a little bit good. Obviously, I have your one thing that you focus on. For me, that's bodybuilding. But practice new things. It will switch up your whole fitness routine. The only reason why I was able to recover from my back injury when I broke my spine about two and a half years ago was because I had an arsenal of other fitness activities, one that I had experience in, two that I knew how to do. So you're only putting yourself up in a better position to be able to do a lot of different things. So try these exercises with me. So starting off with numero Uno, probably one of Chris's best fucking exercises is the muscle up. Probably one of the exercises that I busted out as many people fucking train deadlifts and train deadlift, uh, train uh, bah, 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 bench press and all that stuff. I trained weighted pull ups and weighted muscle ups. So back in my prime, I could uh, muscle up with 30 kilograms between my legs. So I've got like balls of fucking steel. So muscle ups gonna be super easy. I am actually gonna try to do it weighted. So let's see if I can do it. In the video that we shot with Andrew, he made it seem like I couldn't do a muscle up while I was new to it, but I can and it's, I expect this to go pretty well. Okay, if I fail this, I give you all permission to unsubscribe. But if you aren't subscribed, you should subscribe just so you can unsubscribe later. So like I said, it's pretty easy. So let's add some weight, see if I can do it with a, a 10. Uh, my socks are gonna get red. Guys, don't walk around with your socks. Don't walk around with your socks on the floor. Wear your shoes. Your mommy's gonna be very angry at you. Your socks are gonna have holes and your mom's gonna be like, pa, pa, pa. This is where you should like add lightning effects like I'm Thor. Thank you. Milan Fashion Week, fucking. Oh, this is confusing. Uh, wait. No, there's no way I can do this. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I, I need, I need a weight belt for this. I will include a clip of me doing a muscle up with a weight belt now. So second exercise is the back lever. Um, the only reason why I think I can do this so well is because my lats are abnormally large and I can pretty much just hook my arms behind my lats and just sort of just hang freely. Once again, this is one of the exercises that I'm more adept at in. Same as muscle ups, I can do them quite easily. So with that being said, let's get into it. And guys, if you ever wanted to do a tutorial on these exercises and how I do them, please comment them. Because the only reason why this video exists, the one that you're currently watching, is because someone commented over here. Thank you very much for that, by the way. But I do watch your comments, and who knows, you could be responsible for the next YouTube video. <sighs> Ooh, the sun is hella blinding. Uh, straddle. 
so I'm just hanging around. How's your day? And that's back lever, easy. If you're one of these people that just leave their shit, I'm gonna fuck you. Or just take your shit away, because look at this. Look, it's disgusting. I don't know who or did what, but like these dumbbells weren't used for gym purposes. Next exercise is handstands. This is probably one of the exercises that I struggled with the most um, in the video and in my own personal life. I just really, I, I can do them, but I can never do them consistently. If I do manage a hold, it's by chance and pure luck. Um, so let's see if I can do this. Do a handstand. I always found that it's so much easier if you take off your shoes. Ah, okay, fuck, here we go. Oh, fuck, I almost had it. I can get up, but I can't hold it. Can't hold on. Another thing, if you guys want a video on how to get so tanned, drop it in the comments. I'll give you guys the secret sauce. I'd like to think I'm quite a pro when it comes to calisthenics, but I train legs. And legs is very, very heavy when you're doing stuff like that because, you know, they're fucking heavy. And a front lever is, there's a lot of weight toward the end. This is one of the base progressions that I found to train my front lever, knowing the fact that I don't skip leg day and my legs are predominantly very fucking chunky. All that you're gonna do is keep one leg bent, one leg straight, and do front raises. And this, and it looks like this. Let's do one leg and then I can do both legs for you. That was better than I expected. I promise you if I kept practicing that, I would be able to do a strict front lever. But for now, I'm actually pretty happy with how that went. On to the next and last exercise. Uh, fifth exercise, bent arm plunge. Guys, this is by far the most challenging out of the whole Andrew Strong video. Like, my legs are too thick, and I just, I, don't, I ain't got the facilities. I don't have the facilities. We're gonna try. What's life if you don't try? One thing that I can do, I can do a very bad straddle front plunge. Is this YouTube's inception? Okay, I can do that. He said, do. Do this. Yes, yes. Uh uh, I don't like Andre's human torture. Now lean forward with a straddle. I bet. Better. It's better. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Because I remember in the video, I couldn't do the full one, but I could do the straddle. So, so far, it's all the same progressions. We haven't really improved. We haven't gotten worse, so that's a good thing. I'm doing it. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yes, success. Yes. Can you see my eyes are red? Are my eyes red? Wow. I, Andre, human torture things dude but hey we did it we did all five exercises so my expectations for this video were totally flipped upside down that's why my eyes are getting fucked up i'm gonna fucking faint give me a second <laughs> like i said guys it was so cool to try all of these calisthenics moves because at the end of the day that's what got me into fitness mastering this shirt so i can do all of the fucking heavy 180 kilogram bench presses breaking my spine through a leg press all of those things this was the cornerstone that got me into this massive fucking rabbit hole of fitness bodybuilding gymnastics all that crap calisthenics is such a cool fitness thing to do and guys understand some of you might think this is so intimidating like you're too overweight you're too fat to try these exercises if you don't know where to start to lose weight i have a free workout plan and training plan in the description so have a look at that and if you want to work directly with me i am a transformation coach we've worked with all of these people and gotten them amazing results so click the link to my bio go check it out and, and subscribe to the youtube channel more videos coming soon don't forget to let me know what you want to see next without further ado christopher out